Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about the rest assured uh, API testing. And if you will see, uh, we'll cover up uh, introduction of the API testing and uh, its objectives and we'll go through its scenarios and uh, limitations and we'll conclude but and when to use the rest assured framework for doing APIs. So <clears throat> Again, welcome to Sanely Skilled and let's start. So it is a library which is used to test REST APIs only and it, it is developed by JWay company. So when I say REST API, I don't mean like uh, you cannot test uh, SOAP, but uh, it is basically meant to do that. And uh, some of the SOAP APIs can also be uh, like passed there and can be tested there as well. So the only thing is that uh, it is not actually meant for that. So it might not cover all the options and parameters and everything uh, as per SOAP APIs. So it's uh, legit for REST APIs. And we'll uh, talk about the REST Assured framework with sample code and good examples. And uh, we'll tell you how useful it is in terms of automation in different kind of projects. And then I'll also show you how to run it. So <clears throat> I'm assuming you guys have a IDE, Java, and Maven, TestNG might or might not be there. And <clears throat> this dependencies are there in there. So if you want, you can check out my this URL. I'll put it in description as well. Uh, that is my Git repository for all the code. So <clears throat> what we are going to cover in this is basically API calls, we will have input body, we will have parameters, we can use files as well if we want and the response of the API will either be string, JSON object or JSON array. So the repository defined here, I will show you the code as well, it is basically containing, we will see here, the test java folder and api helper so let's go to the api helper first so this is my uh, test api one of the static method which is returning an object if you will see here so <clears throat> if i go back to the document so here you have uh, sorry it might not be very much clear so it is basically showing you the code of uh, how we are testing the API so I, I'll show the code here so we have uh, URLs uh, this is one of the public API which I have used and this is my base URL and then there is a command which will come as a parameter from the test file so if you will see here this is my command which is basically get data in this in my case and then we will have one of the request specification object this is the uh, if you will see here, this request specification <coughs> is one of the JWay basically rest assured file, and we have the object here. So what we are doing here is, if file is null, we are just looking for the content type, but else we can also uh, put there put the file in our request. So if we have uh, parameters, we will put the parameters as well in request here. And then we are inputting the body here and we are logging everything here so that we know that okay what's happening and then there is response object so this is the major part so this is up to this point we were creating a request so just make sure you create your request properly with content with file and then you can add parameters here and then you can basically add a body basically which is input and then you can log them all so if you will see here we talked about the parameter request and this is the request spec object which is we, we just talked about and it is basically our api call which is being done here and we have to validate the response code log the response and type of response will be decided and we will process it uh, into our nature so that we know 
so that's something we have to take care of and right now we have kept the method type as return as object if you know the your return type is always string or whatever type is there you can keep it that way as well but for now we have kept it as object so we we are flexible enough for that so talking about the response here so this is the request pack right and this is a response object if you will see this is one of the file here again in the rest assured so it's when so it works by the BDT, basically behavior driven <coughs> development, BDD. So somehow used there. So request spec is this and when, basically when you can put <coughs> some of your prerequisite if you want. Right now we don't have, for example, if URL is up or for example, you want to test one URL before this URL, you can do that and that is basically a precondition and then post is basically uh, actual step what you're doing is doing a post request on the above url and then is the tear down or you can say after this request what are you going to do so this is then so this is going to be a basic stuff and you can also change uh, to like directly to post and then or when and post you might not have to use all of them at the same time and then you can log them all so log and all so it, it will basically log everything and now you have to check that status code is 200 which is HTTP okay that means it is successful and you have to extract the response out of it which will be returned here so this is our response which we got till now here and once you have the response you can basically process it so what we are doing is we are having a return object here and we are changing it to JSON object if it has following strings. Otherwise, if it is not a JSON object and it returns an exception, we are <coughs> converting it to string basically here if it is a string response and then converting into JSON object again. And if even if there is a problem there, then we will convert into JSON array. So once you have uh, this processed, this is your response, right? So you have the response here and you will return that object to our test file, which is basically having everything here. So if I will run this main method here, so this is my response, which I am printing. So this is my request method which is post as I show you as I showed you before this is a basically a post you can have different calls for post and get so you can put get as well here and <coughs> sorry and uh, you can basically run it from here and this ran <coughs> with the post and I have some exception with uh, get so it depends on the uh, kind of API you are using so let me just change it back so as you are already using it so it showed you the error in the get so I'll just uh, from the get so it's just uh, stuck up here okay so I'm running it again so it's <coughs> showing the exception in case of get as you can see so it depends on your API if it does allow the post or get or not and uh, let me just clear the console again and I'll run post for you and it's perfectly fine so that means we have a post for this URL request parameters and multi parts or files nothing but we have headers and there is no cookie and this is our result right so <clears throat> that's how you can basically extract everything from here and you can make API calls from rest assured so this was all about the rest assured on a very high level
if you want to enroll more about <coughs> if you want to know about more about the api testing you can enroll with us and these are my contact details you can connect me here and you can also subscribe to the youtube channels for more free videos and for more demos related videos and uh, i'll keep posting up the new things and interesting things and you can also just learn about the just research your framework in our training sessions and that's very 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 cheap so that's all for now thank you